a lot of pieces. I wonder where this goes. <laughs> So on sale, how many did they have left? Four. Four? Huh. That's not bad. Holds a hundred or a thousand. Twelve hundred, isn't it? Twelve hundred yeah. pounds? Twelve hundred pounds, yeah. Well. It's a gorilla carts. Gorilla carts, yeah. In Africa, they used to haul gorillas in them. Why they're so strong. Right. No? Lock nuts. So it's hard. Put it on there. Put this on there. There you go. Go nuts. Hey nuts. <laughs> you don't tighten them all the way until yes. you get all of them. Yeah, no, I'll tighten them all the way. Well, I thought you'd had to tighten. How about you, upside down? How about you flip it? Yeah. The bad thing that way it's not sliding.
I had an early day today. But my day didn't start out fun. <laughs> I had an air leak in one of my chambers, brake chambers. So I had to bring the truck over to the shop and then uh, go pick up another truck. And then delivered that load, came back and they didn't have any more loads for me, so I was told to go home. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Because I'm sure you, I'm sure you could probably. Uh, you're doing a fine job there, young lady. Uh, you're doing a fine job. Just remember, it falls apart. Oh, see? No, I want you to check it though. <laughs> They're good. Probably gonna need uh, you're gonna need another ratchet on the other side. You're gonna need another ratchet on the other side. Find another half inch that works with the uh, <coughs> the quarter inch socket there. Hmm? Yeah. Find a half, find inch. half inch. Yep. On the deep sockets up on top. Prop. Stupid people just like me. <laughs> that is pretty, uh, looks like they're pretty easy instructions. They're awesome instructions. Way to go, Gorilla. That is probably not funny. Is it the same company, the Gorilla Glue? No. I don't think it is. No. <laughs> Doing, girl. That's right, get back to the house. Plastic. Where? Inside. Oh, 
No, 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 don't lose me. There you go, one Just one of those key pin drawers. What are they called? Uh, not cotter pins. Cotter pins? No, they're not cotter pins. It's not cotter pins. It's, it's another kind of pin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pin pin. It's a pin pin. Yes, it did. At this age, you don't want to bend over. <laughs> well, there's no problem bending over. It's getting back up. That's the problem. Again, I'm just go like that. Yeah. That's it. That's all there is to it. Yep. You got the other pin? You got to take that up. Yes, dear. Here, you want a little feet for a table or something, or crutches? Oh, I, I forgot the washer. I remember. Mm -hmm. You've got it. Do I what? Do I want what? Little feet. <laughs> Thank you, doggy. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to flip this over. <clears throat> The dump cart. You dump cart. It stands pretty high. Yeah. I'm five two, guys. <laughs> pretty good. So you can pull it with your lawnmower or your ATV or, yep. or just by hand. That's correct, miss. Cool. Where did boy go to work? I don't know. It's fine. Jeez, that's a big handle. <laughs> Thank you. I'll edit that. What? I'll edit that. Because <laughs> I love editing. <laughs> Looks pretty good. So is there a release or something? See me putting the front thing, the thing on the front. No, I know the yellow thing is released so that it'll dump. Yeah. But why does that handle look like it's? 
Uh huh. There, now you can hook it up to your lawnmower. Oh, let me see. It's a wagon like that. Yeah. Then you take this out and the pin out, drop that, and there you can carry, pull it with your lawnmower. There you go. Yay. What? You can take it for a test drive. See how it handles in the rough, rough terrain. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, it runs smooth. gonna see how it dumps. I, I think I know. <laughs> Clips back in as soon as it shuts. Yep. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, it's not bad. <clears throat> you know what the good thing is? It's 1,200 pounds. So you can take me for a ride. <laughs> Hook it up to the ATV and off we go. Oh, lot more <laughs> Just take me around the, the yard. <laughs> Yay! Whee! Let's go. Oh, not so fast. You get seasick. Not a surprise. Not hard to pull at all. Yeah, with a fat guy like me on it. Oh, there we go. Perfect for gardening or manure or whatever. Yep. Hauling stuff. Bringing wood. I don't know. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. We've had so much rain for the last few days. And uh, so much that there was a lot of flooding going on. People's driveways were washed out and everything. Thankfully, we live on a hilltop, so we didn't we didn't uh, get any damage. How's everybody doing? <laughs> but yeah, I'm nice to have a day like this off and still uh, be blessed to get paid for it. Hey, girls. Well, maybe we can do some work around here then, now that we're home. Huh? Maybe we can do some work around here now that we're home. What time is it? Fourth 20 to 5. 20 to 5? Yeah. We'll put this back here. Is that a no? Huh? <laughs> I take it that's a no? Well, I must visit the washroom. Yeah, I guess we could get something to eat. Yeah. Right. You want to open the thing there? There's no brakes on this. No brakes? No. How come you're not laying on your eggs? Leaving it all up to the other girl, are you? And you're too busy trying to romance them. <laughs> Who does that? The humpy humpy ting. <laughs> Mrs. Brown. Mrs. Brown, that's it. <laughs> the neighbor there, or the friend, the neighbor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I look bad. 
Oh, she's hot today, actually. 13 degrees Celsius. So, hey, guys. Hope everyone's been doing well. As you can see, I Joe had uh, brought home a cart, a uh, dumping cart for the garden, for the barn, whatever we need it for, and put it together. So that was, uh, that was awesome. Uh, the clicking you're hearing is my hazard, so sorry if that's annoying you in the background. Uh, I kind of like to keep them on when I'm in the loading dock, so I'm here loading up the big core paper, uh, paper cores that they put the big rolls of toilet paper on and stuff and Kleenex and whatever else they want to put on. Anyway, I'm loading them up and just waiting for me to get finished and then uh, I'll be heading back up to uh, Moncton and dropping them off. So it might be another early day today. I don't know. Yesterday that was awesome. So I may have another early day today. They're working on another uh, order for <clears throat> somewhere else. And so that slows what we do down. So that's okay though. We'll see what happens. <laughs> this door is on a on an angle like a 45 degree angle maybe even 55 so makes it a little difficult having to pull in and line up especially with these tracks uh, in front of us so we have to go over them and try to line ourselves up to it but uh, it takes some practice that's for sure um, but the more I do it the better I'm getting I have seen my dad in some pretty tight places in the States. <laughs> and I have no idea how he would get himself just perfect. And, and I would watch him and be completely amazed <laughs> at how he would do it. Um, I would look at it and go, how are you going to squeeze into that little hole <laughs> of a delivery place? So. You just say patience and watch. <laughs> I think with this uh, warmer weather, it should make it uh, a lot easier for, um, well, actually it's gonna dry things up for sure, to get us going on continuing on with uh, putting the fence posts in. So that's, that's getting exciting. Uh, bumpity bump um, that's exciting so we should be starting that real soon and I'm sure we'll be taking you along with us to do that and um, I just want to say I appreciate all the viewers that I've had in the last few months and the new subscribers thank you so much for joining the channel I know we're just a, a baby of a channel and uh, but the ones who have subscribed to us, it really, it encourages me to make more videos. And I know our videos aren't spectacular or anything like that, but uh, you subscribe for a reason and I just wanna thank you for that. So if there's other videos that we've done that you saw that, um, that you were kind of more interested in, let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate your feedback. Um, just so that it can give me some more um, ideas, I guess, of what my viewers potentially like to watch more than others. <laughs> But I do know now that spring is in the air, I can just smell it. <laughs> um, things are gonna start really picking up with, with chores and things that we uh, wanna do. Yard cleanup, clearing land, of course the fencing. You guys, I've just been plugging, 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 fencing, fencing, fencing. Uh, I know and it's probably driving you crazy like it is me. I just I'm really anxious to get the fencing uh, behind us. <laughs> um, and then 
because really that that's when I can really start petitioning every you know the, the paddocks and creating different areas so that I know really w what I'm going to be doing with animals and in the last video I spoke of goats and I know some of you some of you do know that I've said no I don't want goats Joe has been talking more about goats and I think it's because he thinks that we should start small before we go big with a milk cow and uh I disagree <laughs> I think if you're going to get any kind of a dairy um, a dairy animal whether it's goat or sheep or cow um, you know what are you gonna do with the milk and and how much you're gonna get and stuff like that so I not that I can't make all the things that I would want to make with with goats but I, I have also contemplating been contemplating the sheep and I hear that sheep milk tastes a whole lot better than goat's milk and goat cheese and, and, and things like that now I've tried goat cheese and I will say that I haven't been too much of a fan of it I'm just checking for a green light if I'm done yet no and so and I know I've done cheese and yogurts and things like that with with milk cow milk um, but I've heard many say that ha that have sheep because um, I've talked to them that they actually prefer the sheep milk over the cow milk and it's um, more nutritious as well so that is something that I'm really kind of now pondering thinking about is do I go with a cow or do I go with sheep? Sheep are easier to look after, but then again, so is a cow, cow, you know. But anyway, so that's what I'm contemplating. And if you have any of those animals on your homestead, uh, comment below and let me know what your experience is and what you've, uh, uh, you know, what you get out of your animal meaning like gallons um and stuff like that so and how long is your animal in uh in milk and things like that so just share your your um your info down below that'd be awesome